Hey everybody, welcome, welcome to our Monday Live. We come to you live each and every week, Monday through Thursday, so you can learn about Luminous, what we have to offer, everything and anything. So it's a way for you to ask questions. <clears throat> it's a way for you to see it being done. Um, we know that people are at different levels. Maybe you just got it. Maybe you haven't opened it. Maybe you've used it, but you're unsure about it. Maybe you've been airbrushing for a long time, but we, we cover a lot. So we cover the beginnings. We cover um, what you get in your kit. And then we look at other makeup that we do have that we have to offer as well, because you know, it's for airbrushing, of course, but we have color cosmetics and we also have skincare. And so we always like to cover everything. So hello, Veronica. Hello, Pam. Hey, Martin. How are you? All right. So let's go over. Hey, Stephanie. Good to see you. Um, let's go over um, the Stossa kit and what you receive when you order it. So this is our icon. We also have the icon legend or we have the icon, the icon pro, the legend. And of course we have the Baru's, uh, which is our new cordless chargeable one. It's amazing. But all the makeup that you see here comes with it. So it comes with the two bottles of foundation, love and blush. Love is something you might not use every single day, but you'll love it. It's a hydrating illuminator. And then we also have the blush, which is going to, um, it's very high pigmented. So you're only going to use about two drops and that is it. If you use more, you're going to look crazy and we don't want that. And then the two bottles of foundation we give you are very similar in color. So you can um, mix and match, um, but it, it will give you a range um, because at first you're picking a range. You're picking fair, medium, tan, warm, deep, um, all of that. And so you're getting whatever's closest to you. And then that way we can kind of, um, you know, go from there. Um, and we also remember we do have that hundred percent color match guarantee. So here is what we want you to do. Bam. When you first get started. Hello, Andrea, how are you? Uh, when you first get started, we want you to hold that stylus four finger widths away or the breeze. You'll see me use the breeze and keep it moving. It's not this, but you're just going to keep it moving. Feel that air, feel where the uh, air is going because wherever the air is, where the makeup's going to go. Nothing is being released until you pull back on the three guard. All right. So let's get started. Hey, Zoni, how are you? Good morning, Jeannie. Hello, Lori, how are you? Um, so we are going to do half and half because um, I want, I always like to show you because just like I know that people are at different levels of airbrushing, I know people are at different levels of their makeup game. And so, you know, a smoky eye to you might be a smoky eye different to me. Um, and so I always like to show you, okay, this is where you can go. This is where you can take it. And so we're going to go ahead and get started. So I am going to do um, half a, just a very natural, you know, blah, here you go. You know, I'll go out in public with this look and then ways to kind of step it up. Um, let me grab, I am going to be using Rose, uh, the Rose four in one. Hey, Jennifer, good morning. Um, I'm going to use the four in one rose and rose four in one doesn't have pink undertones. It has the Bulgarian rose in it. So it's going to give you um, more coverage. It, it also has uh, the Bulgarian rose is good for your skin, but that the rose formula is medium to full coverage. And then we also have, I'm trying to find like, no, we also have silk. And silk is going to give you sheer to medium coverage. Where's my, I don't know where my glow is. Where's my glow? Maybe I'll put some in here. Let's see. Oh, here it is. A brand new one. Newbie. All right, Becky. Oh, Shelly's a newbie. Oh, I love, Jennifer just purchased it. the breeze. I love it. I love it. I love it. Well, we're glad that newbies are here. And so if you're a newbie, make sure you see, hello, Elena. Um, make sure you see the beginning of this because I do go over those steps. Like you do want to make sure that you hold it four finger widths away. 
And so watching yourself in the mirror as you move your stylus around is really going to help you because it might, you might seem like, oh, okay, like I can, I can do that. But what happens is you either end up doing this because something's blowing at your face or you come in closer because you're used to touching your face. So if you're just watching yourself in the mirror and then checking every so often to make sure you're that four finger woods away, you got it. All right. Yeah. Jeannie did a bit, a mix of her, um, she did natural with some espresso eyeshadow in there for like a brown blush. Um, oh, thank you, Stephanie. I try and guys ask questions. Don't think, oh, that might be a dumb question. Ask questions. I promise one, I can answer them. <laughs> <laughs> I promise I've been doing this about oh, 25 years. And so, um, you're not going to ask me any question that I haven't heard. Okay. But the big thing I think that you really want to practice is the pulling back of the trigger because nine times out of 10, what people do is they get the system home and then they put it on like traditional makeup and it goes on differently. Not only of course, because you're airbrushing, but how it feels and looks on your skin, you're going to be using 10 times less makeup. But you do need to make sure that you are pulling back super light on the trigger. Okay. All right. So I am going to start. I'm going to move my hair back so we can see everything. Um, Gabby, how are you? All right. Ah, Martin's already done. All right. I'm doing glow and glow is a highlighter. It has no shimmer in it. But I'm going to use it on my lids. Um, I am going to use it underneath my eyes um, to give me some brightness. Again, making the movements first. I've been feeling the first time I used it. I love it. You always have to have a good birthday gift, right? I'm going to do a little bit on my lid. Underneath again, Springfield, Missouri. Okay, now I can stop right here, right? It. I did my lid, so I have a little bit of lightness on my lids. Underneath my eyes, I have a little bit more lightness there. I even went down the middle of my nose just to give a little bit of lightness. But even though this is glow and I'm using it to highlight underneath my eyes, it is giving me coverage, okay? And so... Um, anything that you put in your airbrush that you're airbrushing on that has, um, pigment in it, it's giving you coverage. Why? Because when you're putting it on, it's touchless. You're going to, and put on another one and it's still touchless. So we're not wiping it away. That's the problem with traditional makeup is you'll put some concealer on and then you, then you take it away because you're putting the foundation on or whatever. And so you have to be careful how you put it on. So you don't erase what you just put on again. Um, what is, Andrea is asking, what is the difference between CC corrector and eraser? Um, also luminous smear when you take your mask. Does luminous smear when you take your mask off? Um, I find that most of the time, no, it won't. But constant rubbing, yeah, it, you might. It might do that. Now, one thing I highly recommend is our final seal. Actually, that might be the tanning, but it comes in a bottle like this and you missed it on your face and it's, it stays, it's going to, it's your waterproof. Basically the difference between CC, um, the CC. Okay. Those are two different. So we have CC concealers and then we have color, we have prism color correctors. So the concealers are going to give you more coverage because it has more pigment and they come in five different colors. So you can find one that is close to your, your shade. And then eraser only comes in one shade and it is the lightest in coverage. Okay. Um, I use the rose water and the system seems simple. What is best for wrinkles? Great question. Hold on. I'm going to make sure I did not miss because there's a lot of questions and I love it. Um, good morning. Love the rose water. I love it. the rose water smells so good. I actually have it, the one in the mist and I keep one in my purse because I'm like, oh, I just love it. Um, 
let's see, let's say, let's say, to miss them out. Oh, you're so sweet. Uh, Shelly hasn't used it yet. What do you recommend for someone with deep lines around the mouth and just a, <laughs> Shelly, do you mean life? <laughs> we all have those wrinkles that come up and you're like, when did that come in? Um, so the one thing with wrinkles, spray light. When I was telling you earlier that, yes, putting this on is different, but how it appears on your skin and how it looks on your skin is also different. Okay. So just go light, but I do recommend velvet veil. Velvet veil is a blur. It is something you're going to put on with your hands before airbrushing. Okay. It's going to make your skin feel like velvet. Now, there is a dropper in here. However, I put that aside. Oh, I wiped it out again. Hold on. Hold on. My white balance is off. Okay. So, I don't know why it's doing that. So, I just put it around my hands and put it on like that versus um, dropping it on my face because you only, you only need, I don't know why I'm doing this. Um, you only need a little bit. You don't need a lot at all. And so I end up just putting it on with my with my fingers, slide it on, and then that's it. Like, I don't have to do anything else. Guys, I don't know why it's doing that again. Um, maybe this will help. I don't know. Okay. So anyway, um, so try, check out the Velvet Veil. Wait for it to go on sale. Um, Oh, oh, okay. I was like, you only need Jennifer said, for some reason, I'm finding out that I need more than just four to six drops. And that is true. In the beginning, you might find that you're like using way too many drops. You're like, this isn't going to, but I, pr these are the, these are the three things I want you to practice. Okay. Number one, use the air, turn it on, use the air, start going around your face, bah, 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 and make sure your forefinger was away. This is like when I'm going to do it, I'm trying, y'all asking such good questions. I don't want to leave them off, but I, we need to keep going. So I'm going to put, this will be my stepping it up side. This is going to be natural and this will be stepping it up. So I'm going to go back and make my coverage. Now notice I'm putting a little more um, emphasis on, I wonder if it's this backlight. Hold on. Let's see if I can turn that off real quick. Did that help? Maybe. Okay. Maybe that did help. All right. So if I go in, I can make as many passes as I need to, but notice that my moves are very deliberate. I'm not just doing, not doing that. I'm just, the moves are very deliberate. So when you're practicing with the uh, air, make sure that you're keeping it that four finger width away and that you're you're moving around the face not fast and you're not painting a fence either okay so just know that now coverage will start happening more the more you use this the more you use this the better you're going to be but another step that i would recommend is taking a paper towel i don't want to put anything white up right now because i'm afraid it'll white out again but fold a paper towel, put five drops of your foundation in here, hold it that four finger widths away, start the movement and barely pull back on the trigger. I highly recommend doing this because it allows you to see that you barely have to pull back on that trigger for the makeup to be released. When you're doing it this way, you, you don't necessarily see it go on, but when you're doing it this way, it'll help your brain click that, oh my gosh, I didn't even think I was pulling back and it's coming out because there's not a big difference between this and pulling down all the way. So you have to find that happy spot. Okay. Um, let's see. Brown drip is most six times. Um, my root and brow won't drip out and I've soaked six times. Sure. You can use another tip of another bottle. Yeah, for sure. But uh, Shelly, that rose water is great for wrinkles because it does have the Bulgarian rose um, and it works amazing. 
have to fill it over and over. How can I clean my briefs? Um, Elena, no, you do not have eight. Eight drops of foundation is enough to do your whole entire face with full coverage. Okay. So if you're using eight drops, you're pulling or more than eight drops, you are pulling back too hard on that trigger. So just what I went over is what you need to practice. Um, let's see. I recommend breathe for the first time. Use two weight and light. Um, I know, girl. I'm. You know what? Let me write that down because I, I do need to check. I meant to. Guys, y'all always have to tell me to write stuff down because I will forget. Um, I'm going to check on the buff concealer and the powder. Buff concealer powder. Okay. Uh, gosh, y'all have to tell me questions. Okay. Do, 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 do. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. repeat. Um, <laughs> I was like, I don't know why it's. I never change. Like, my situation here stays the same all the time. So I don't know why sometimes it, and I wear black all the time. So I don't know why it decides to, um, oh, yay. A latest user for the first time. Oh, Shelly loves, it. I do, I do too, girl. I love the mascara. Um, Jeannie, I think you asked a question, but I did not see it. So ask again while, cause I had all the, I was going through all the questions. Okay. So now I did this one. I did a little bit more love on here. I mean, um, glow. I think I'm out right now. Okay. So now I'm going to go in, blow the rest of that out. And now I'm going in with my foundation. So I'm going straight in with the foundation. I'm going to put about five drops. One, two, three, four, five. I call customer service to order new tips. For my root and brow, but they only, but they don't have that. Oh, awesome. Awesome sauce. All right. So now I'm going to turn the system on and I'm just going to start making one pa complete pass, lightly pulling back on that trigger. Making my passes. Okay, that's one pass. Most of my coverage is going to be right in here. So I'm going to keep going, keep going down my neck. Hey, Elaine, how are you? Okay, that's enough coverage for me. We do have a small group classes, guys. So yes, if you want to do a small group class, check the link in the bio in the description and you can click on that and uh, schedule one. We do them on Mondays and Wednesdays at noon. All right. All right. So now I'm going to take this. Love this. If you don't have this one. It has 36 beautiful neutral eyeshadows. And now I'm going to do an eye. So I'm going to go in with a lighter neutral color. And just tap that on. And I'm going to do it all over. So from lash line to brow bone. And I mixed probably three colors together. Uh, it does have, I don't know, why am I here standing up? It does have a little bit of a shimmer. I'm doing great. Thank you. But I'm going to get this on. Get all that on right there. And notice that I'm just kind of patting it on, patting it on. That's okay. That's okay. You can always schedule another one, girl. Patting it on, patting it on, patting it on. Okay. So that I just put on from inside to outside, just kind of everywhere. Okay. So next I can go in with a blending brush, which is that one right there. And when you put it in the color, you put it down like that. You want the color to the, the top or the tip of that. And that's going to help with blending. So I'm going to use kind of a medium brown. 
and I'm going to do this in my crease. The first place that you put the brush is where most of the makeup is going to go, most of the eyeshadow. So I want to do that from the outside and then start blending it in. And I'm blending almost in a, in a Z or a V, not a Z. Okay. Do, 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 do. It's getting hot in here now. So notice how it's starting to give my eyes some depth. What we're doing is contouring our eyes. And so I'm just doing this in my crease lightly, lightly. Never, you never want to press like super hard on your eye because this is the skin is very delicate, um, <clears throat> very thin, and you don't want to pull or create havoc to this area. All right. So I just blended, 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 no harsh edges, um, just super light blending. So now if I'm stepping it up, I forgot what side of, this eye, I'm going to step it up. Okay. So, I mean, and I'm good with this. Like I throw mascara on done, done with the eyes. Okay. So I'm now going to go in with, I'll go in with, I'm like, how many steps do I want to do? Um, I'll go in with the darker Brown right here. I'll just show you a little bit. And then now I'm going right here and just doing a sh little V shape right here. Oh, I love, yeah. The, if, when you're using the right brushes, or I should say good brushes, um, it makes a huge difference. Okay. I'm just going to keep blending this a little bit more. Now, because my eyes are getting a little more hooded, I do want to blend this up. And if your eyes are hooded, guys, you can go in and do this if you need to hold it up. But I'm just going to keep blending this. Now I'm going to go back with that lighter brown. And just because I don't want to get the dark in here, I'm going in with the lighter brown kind of on top and blending that in. Okay. So this is the step up. This is the natural step up natural. All right. So I did have the lighter on the inside here. Can still step it up going in with a coppery color, like a goldy coppery color. And then I can tap that right there. And I'm doing that just right at where my, the color of my eye is. Okay. Make this little, <clears throat> like the shadow liner brushes. Um, right now we don't have gift, uh, gift sets, but Christmas, obviously, or, or Black Friday, <clears throat> they'll start doing sets like that. Um, and sometimes they do. All right. So now... In case I have any fallout, meaning if I had any makeup that fell down here, I'm going to, <clears throat> where's my brush I use? I'm going to take the powder. Where's my brush? Where's my brush? Okay, here it is. Take my powder, and then I'm going to just twirl it in the powder and lightly dust right there, and then I'm good, okay? Make sure I didn't miss any. Okay. Then taking a flat eyeshadow brush again, I'm going to go in with the darker that what's here and I'm going to line the bottom. And I'm just lining with the, um, the eyeshadow. And all you have to do is place it right there. Okay. Now with this one, if you wanted to line as well, you could, you just line with that lighter shade. Just like that. 
Okay. So now let's go in and do, I'll do, um, I'm going to do some contouring. So I'm going to take my cut one palette because I love contouring with that. And an angled brush. And I actually use all of these. <laughs> so I just take it and brush it through like this. And then you can lightly contour. Definitely right here. Okay. What contouring does, so what foundation is used for is to even you out. It's going to even out your skin tone, even out. Uh, we all have different shades on our face, imperfections. We're evening us out. So what contouring does is it provides shape back to your face, the dimension. So that's why I just added that here because now I can start seeing some shape. Now, if I wanted to go in and add a little more. Feels so weird not to go to the other side right now. <laughs> and then I can go more here as well. Right at the jawline. Okay. So I just took it up a little bit. And then now I'm going to grab my airbrush blush and I'm going to use natural blush. Natural blush does have a little bit of a shimmer to it. You can add different drops of different foundation uh, or different other blushes in there so if you wanted to do like a drop of, of natural blush and then a drop of plum or a drop of apricot whatever the case may be you can do that you can also add a little drop of love in there if you wanted to so now i'm going to go in and do my blush okay And then, of course, I'm going to take it up a little bit on this side. Now, remember, our blush does bloom, so you only want to use the two drops, and then that's it. If you use more, you're going to look crazy. Another thing you can do, and if you watch any other video, you'll see me do this, is I do, um, I do go in and uh, do my blush first, and then I airbrush over, and then that way it's blended. And so... If there is a risk of getting blush happy, I don't have to really worry about it um, because it's going to blend away. All right. I was going to put lashes on, but I think I'm just going to do the mascara because we're running long. Um, and then y'all say y'all like the mascara too. So um, what I'll do is I'm going to put mascara on and then I'm going to show you what you can do differently to step it up too. So. You want to curl your lashes before um, putting on mascara. Now, my lashes are already curly, so I'm not going to curl mine. But then I can go ahead and add the mascara. And then to truly step this up, you can add some lashes, which will make a huge difference. And sometimes I think it's, especially our lash lore, sometimes I think it's faster to do the lashes than mascara. Um, but I love our mascara because you can use the thinner end to go in and kind of straighten the lash. I mean, look what a difference it makes. And then putting it on the bottom. well and go back i do a, I, I probably put on a, a few coats i'm 
that's probably why I think putting on lashes would be easier sometimes. But there you have. Now I'm going to let that dry a second and then we're going to go back and I'll show you. But like, look, I mean, let's do it this way. Like that, that's a good look. And that's two shades of eyeshadow with mascara. So that is a good, clean, perfect look that, um, that you're good to go with. Or you can, if you had the time or want to take it up to the next level, you could do that as well. And so now let's go in. I have to get my makeup bag out so I can put my, my lips on. Finding, what color am I finding? What color, what color? We all know it, Dusty Rose. Maybe. Where's my Dusty Rose? There it is, okay. So I'm gonna add my Dusty Rose. Like that. And I go to the outside of the lip. Just because I want my lips to look fuller. My pigment, the pigment of my lip doesn't go up all the way. So I have to find the edge of my lip. It's hard to talk when you're doing your lips. When can I buy some products? Karen, you can buy them anytime, girl. You can buy them anytime. You can go online to Luminous Cosmetics and uh, and purchase anytime. We don't have a um, pro discount as of yet, uh, but that is something I believe that they're working on. Um, I'll just have to I'll have to double check. All right, so now I am going to take this up a little bit as well. This side. So now that my mascara is dry. I'm going to take Persuasion Eyeliner, and this is the black, and just tickle the lash line. So you could even stop right there, but see what a difference just a little bit of eyeliner makes. Just a little bit of eyeliner will make a big, big difference. Or... Go in and you can cut it out. Like that. There you go. See? See what a difference it makes, guys. It makes a huge, huge difference. So, happy with this. I'm good with this. This is a look I do a lot. I can go there, okay? Or I can step it up. And it's not a, it's not a big, those weren't big changes. Same amount of time. One maybe one or two different shades of eye and that's it. That's it. So easy to do. No, you cannot. Hi, Ender. Uh, no, you cannot use your foundation. You can't use any foundation with the airbrush system. You have to use airbrush makeup. If you put regular foundation in the airbrush machine, it's going to ruin it and you'll void your warranty. So make sure you stick to the luminous uh, makeup. So, all right, guys. All right, natural, stepping it up. Natural, stepping it up. All right, so good to see you guys. I hope to see you back tomorrow. Um, oh, thank you, Angela. That's so sweet. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right, guys. Hope you have a great week. Thanks for being here on this Monday, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.